Hi, I'm Cameron Machel, and I've been exploring travel in my blog this semester. Uh, in this short film, I speak with a couple who loves to travel, whether it's abroad or in their backyard here in New England. I also catch up with the founders of VisitNewEngland.com. It's a comprehensive travel website for tourism in New England, and I discuss with them what they think is the particular draw to New England and what brings thousands and thousands of tourists here to the area. I hope this movie inspires you to travel and I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I just, just love to see new places, you know. And just, uh, we really both love the, the, uh, the idea of uh, going to some place we've never been to before, you yeah. know. Just, and just love I think it. we're both into history and... Um, we have similar interests, right? We'd go yeah. and we'd like to understand a little bit, a bit about the place that we're going to read up about it. You always do a ton of research yeah. and then I'm always reading what you come up with and it just we and so we might go to museums or and we like eating out a lot as well. So I love to sample the various you know, the cuisine of the area. So walking tours and see well, people. When I, we do walking yeah. tours what 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 the uh we bring our own podcasts Audio. and yeah. stuff. Download them from online and just do our own so we don't usually buy them, we just get them online yeah. or whatever. I think there's two different when we do trips, there's two different kinds of things. Um, I like to travel internationally because I like to get away, and that feels more away when I can't eavesdrop on other people, and I don't right. really know what the news is, is saying, and it feels more distant. They're contrary to a lot of it, we, we like going to places where we can't speak the language, <laughs> because <laughs> that's just, it feels like you're further away. Yeah. You really feel like you're further away. But traveling in New England, it's more just to get away, because even though you live in New England, you don't necessarily... You don't take advantage, you know, when you're in your backyard, you don't go out and do things. You don't, you know, you might go for a walk in the afternoon, but it's usually like a workout as opposed to just like seeing what's around. So going somewhere, even if it's only, you know, an hour away, gives you a chance to do that or I guess a different frame of mind to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And even for, you know, even people from foreign lands and not that they feel that it's, it's part of their culture, but, um, it has so, so many of these appealing images, yeah. you know, the, the, uh, the fall foliage in Vermont, and as I said, the main lighthouses. It it has, um, you know, just like many other hot spots of tourism around the world. It has it has uh, really appealing, beautiful, iconic images that that people get wrapped up in, whether they really know the reality of it or not or not. And they they come here looking for um, a real. Um, true authentic experience and I think when people visit though they like to come for the fall I think a lot of people yeah. come for the fall yeah. and then you like Boston because you can get obviously it's on the ocean but you can get to the Cape you can get to lots of places it's plus it's really far. easy to get to I mean you can get to Boston let's say from from Ireland in five six hours you get to, get to, to here faster than you can get to California in most cases so it's a piece of cake to get to mm -hmm. Well, I, you know, New England, you know, has a lot to see, but New England has an authenticity that attracts a lot of travelers. Um, you know, be it you know old beating houses or or um, place like Faneuil Hall, um, and people relate to it. Um, you know, as a core of a you know of America, it's it, it, there's nostalgia nostalgia tied to New England, whether it's accurate or not. But you know the the you know. The, the pictures of the of the, of the town greens, the, the winter scenes of Courier and Ives, all that you know has a, a New England attachment. But then there's you know other aspects to it. Tanglewood, you know, with great music. Uh, that you know um, um, Newberry Street in Boston, with shopping. Um, the ocean is a huge draw. I mean, people really want to come and 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 play in the water, which is not unique to New England, but you you have New England. You know, has unique beachfronts and ocean fronts like Cape Cod. So all of this, you know, brings people to New England. Uh, a distinct advantage is that New England has a huge drive market, um, meaning you know, the the tens of millions of people that would live in New England or with a day's drive to New England. So it's convenient. It's authentic. Um, it's interesting. It's historic, and all that together makes it for a great destination and in turn brings a lot of money in. People um, seem to have a notion of New England that is greater than the sum of its parts. 
like Jonathan was referring to the Courier and Ives pictures or the the no famous Norman Rockwell picture of Stock Stockbridge Main Street at Christmas. Um, these uh, and things like the main lighthouses and the Gloucester fishing boats, um, many other things you could mention. They um, they just evoke some kind of sense in people of you know whether it's imaginary or or not even you know part of the real world, but it, it, it evokes some sense of um, an old time purity, uh, you know Yankee. Yankee culture, and um, it has a very um, sort of a, a pull on people's imagination as a as a um, a part of the of the American um, character.